Hello everyone, Duke Danger here. Now apparently I have to re-re-record this video because my shoutouts weren't good enough in the last video. So here we go. Hello Jake Palmer, hello Ben Palmer, hello Joe Cavendish, hello Katie Devine. Now that we've got all that out of the way, I want to talk about Max Payne 3, a game about a man who shaves his head and subsequently goes on a rampage. Now the story in Max Payne 3 is not much to talk about, to be honest. It's a pretty standard story of revenge turned into a conspiracy theory about body harvesting. So, not a whole lot to shout out about. The writing, on the other hand, including the dialogue, is pretty much spot on, really conveys the dark message the game is trying to get across, which is don't fuck with Max Payne. Especially not in Brazil, and especially not after he shaved his head, because apparently all of his power comes from having a bald head. Now, gameplay is an interesting concept. When this game was first coming out, people were saying, oh, Max Payne is dead. Well, those people can fuck themselves, because the game is pretty much the same as it always was, with a few different quirks, including golden guns, which is a, uh, a little add-on I don't find the point in, to be honest. It gives you an extra round or something. I mean, the shotgun, you get two extra bullets in. It's it's pretty much pointless, to be honest. Although, if you do collect all the golden guns, you got unlimited ammo, so if you're a completionist, that's worth going through, but uh, I'm not, so fuck it. Um, the gameplay is as I say, pretty much the same. You've got the slow-mo bullet time. Max Payne is addicted to painkillers in this one, so there's still a health bar. Huzzah! So he, you don't just have to hide behind a wall and Wolverine it back to health. Um, now, there's a few flashback segments in which Max Payne looks exactly as he always did in the second game, not so much the first one, which they seem to endeavour to ignore, apart from the death of his uh, daughter and wife. Um... Mm. That's all there is to it, to be honest. I was hoping to get a longer review out of this, but all I can say is, it's like Max Payne 2, except set in Brazil. Now, there's a few decent set pieces, I suppose, whereby you're on a water tower and they shoot that down, everything goes all slow-mo, shoot everyone or you will die. Um... But that's about all that's different. I mean, the game's a lot more violent. You get these bullet uh, bullet time segments whereby you kill the last enemy in the game, a la Max Payne 2, where everything goes slow-mo. Although you can continue to shoot and the bullet holes do appear on the body in real time. Um, apart from that, it is exactly the same. I mean, all these people say Max Payne is dead, fuck yourselves, because it's not dead. It's got the same sort of humour, the same sort of dialogue, the same gameplay, exactly the same gameplay. Um... One thing I didn't like was that they focused too much on Max Payne being an idiot, and, you know, he was supposed to be one of the greatest detectives in New York, so, you know, New Jersey, rather. So, you know, you know, they didn't quite do that right, and they didn't quite do Max Payne justice as a character, but as a game, I think they got it spot on. Um, that's all I've got to say about it, really, an unbelievably short review for a game that's only just come out, but one that I can't help. So, if you liked Max Payne, buy Max Payne 3. That's all I'm going to say about it. Um, and that's all. And I hope my shout-outs were fucking good enough this time, you picky bastards. Duke Danger, out.